So I just got this new scented candle from one of my favorite brands, or Giraffe. And this is supposed to be like the Joy Smells candle. This is lime and basil, so it should be a very fresh smell. And I haven't even lit this one, so I thought that I could start the day with trying it out. Just look at this matchbox, how cute is it? My mom had it and I believe it's from abroad, so I'm not sure you can get it here. Just so adorable. <laughs> anyway, we have lit the candle. Now we're going to wait a little bit for it to start drawing the fragrance. This smells really, really divine. I'm going to leave a link to these candles in the description bar. There are actually five different fragrances. This is just one of them. If you'd like to shop for anything from Odd Giraffe, I do have a discount code for you guys. Also, you can use my code Makali for 10% off. Ah, it's just really calming to look at an actual live flame also. I experienced this in Goa with like a fireplace which is used to cook food. Uh, but even looking at the lighted flame on a candle, this is very nice. So hi guys, I hope you all have been doing well. It's time for a new vlog today. And yes, I have my pineapple on. And yes, I look utterly ridiculous. I'm actually well aware of that. This is just a protective hairstyle that I sleep in overnight so that my waves form nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna open it, but before that, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on for the day because sunscreen is a good habit and I have wanted to um, set a sunscreen habit since forever. I never liked sunscreen, I never liked the texture of it and all of that. But I realize it's not something you have to like, but it's something you kind of need to take care of your skin. So I'm using this spray sunscreen, which I kind of hate. I'm just going to put this on. Oh. So spray is convenient, but I think one of the worst parts about it is like um, inhaling the fumes. If you've used hairspray, you know that um, the gas in the hairspray can just be really irritating when you spray it but for sunscreen it's worse because hairspray at least you're doing it for your head and with sunscreen you're doing it straight in your face so that is the irritating part about it and i really won't be repurchasing this sunscreen i am just trying to finish it off i got so used to not having to go out anywhere but i have to go for a pottery class today and i have to leave the house in little over an hour <laughs> so like I don't have all the time in the world, you know, and I need to tell myself to get a move on it. But I do have a yummy, yummy, yummy cup of masala chai here. So good. I got all obsessed with like smelling the candle, which smells amazing. I forgot my masala chai. It's become cold. But anyway, in Mumbai now, like summer has pretty much set in. Like it will get hotter. It will get worse. But we are in the early summer stage. We are in the like humid, sweat everywhere stage so today i have a few things to unbox i have some amazon passes i'm gonna open i don't think there's anything food related today i have uh, some other things i actually have some beauty personal care products that i wanted to buy so i thought i will talk about those things i have some hair care stuff including some stuff for like dandruff and itchy scalps <laughs> and guys i also have a new plant <laughs> so i'm very excited because i don't remember the last time that i unboxed a plant on a vlog i have done it but mostly i receive uh, plants and unbox them when i'm not vlogging so this is my second plant uh, from ugao i was just very impressed with the quality of the plant the first time ugao has their own website but i purchased this off of amazon because i just feel safer that way in case there's any issue with the order i can get in touch with amazon customer service and they're very good that's why i bought of amazon and all the links are going to be in the description bar so this is the first plant that i purchased with ugao maybe about a month ago i waited a week or two weeks and i already reported it into this and it's touch wood it's doing really really well it's growing like crazy none of my other plants grow at this rate i realized that all my previous plants were slow growers that's just the nature of the plant and this one is just like growing like weeds as they say it's just opening up new leaves every single day this is a vine like a creeper like a money plant not a money plant but like it so it's gonna start like actually coming down also so that's going to be fun but now let's open this new plant Ugao has some kind of like special packaging they take a little bit of extra care so you have to remove the tape from the top and then you have to cut the rubber band which I've already cut 
they do try to pack up the mud nicely but whenever you're unboxing a plant that you buy online you're gonna get some mud on you that's just normal so here the plant is i guess it looks okay honestly it's hard to tell whether the plant is super healthy right away you usually are able to see in a day or two but all the leaves look fresh enough like nothing is broken so this is a peperomia i forget what kind of peperomia it is it's one of the most common peperomias uh, this one has variegated leaves so when you look at the leaves like that you can see that there's green and white when there are multiple colors on a leaf it's called variegated this particular peperomia is also called baby rubber plant because it looks like a rubber plant it's not Honestly, peperomias are supposed to be one of the nice low maintenance house plants that you can even keep on your like work desk or whatever. And even if you don't get really good sunlight, apparently these do quite well with um, normal fluorescent lights, your gharka lights. I wanted to try this out for myself. I've tried almost every house plant that's supposed to be low maintenance, and what I've found is that some of them, yes, they are low maintenance and they thrive very well, while some of them, they just they don't work like i've tried again and again and i've lost plants and they are not low maintenance at least that was not my experience i just have to keep an eye on this plant for a little while so we don't do anything the plant uh, seems quite uh, moist so we just keep it here at the side and let it acclimate to our new surroundings when you get a new plant from out first few days sometimes it goes into decline and that's just because of um, shock i guess its whole surroundings have changed and it's stressed out but that is enough plant talk for today here are the things that uh, we're going to unbox today so this was quite a lot of packaging for one tiny little product but i purchased a new nail polish for myself i really enjoy wearing nail polish i've had to keep my nail short for pottery class but uh, after it finishes i guess i'm gonna like uh, grow my nails a little bit more and paint them again nail polish is one of the beauty products that i realized it's not nice to have too many of them at a time because their uh, shelf life is quite short and in the past i've had too many and you can't do them justice so i usually buy two or three new shades a year that also might be excessive i know but that's what i do now since the last few years and i wear those um, in circulation throughout the year i still have my last year shades and you know they still look nice but i kind of wanted one more polish and i wanted something in the green color family i find that since my nail beds are really small lighter and pastel shades just look way prettier so i got this polish from the sally hansen insta dry range and it's called time is money uh, but it's a pun and the thyme is actually the herb thyme not thyme you know thyme <laughs> the shade is really pretty it is this very light chalky green that uh, almost just looks like grey but it's kind of green I will try it out soon and I feel like uh, this polish line of Sally Hansen the insta dry one is quite affordably priced so now we will talk about Selsin also something I bought for the first time but if you've never heard of Selsin, this is a shampoo uh, for dandruff but it is kind of one of those more medical grade shampoos that you would get at a chemist and this is one of the things that you would um, like use maybe for more severe dandruff or whatever if the normal dandruff shampoos are not helping. So I feel like uh, society and advertising agencies have convinced us that dandruff is like an extremely embarrassing problem and that it's some weird like uh, taboo or shame to talk about which is really not. Uh, because there is really nothing we should be ashamed of talking about but dandruff is really annoying and I felt like the change in weather from autumn to then winter like when the air got very dry and now the change in weather again back to humidity my scalp just went haywire so I've been having a little bit of flaking and dandruff but overall my scalp's become really like sensitive and just sort of not happy and if you don't take care of your scalp then very soon that will start affecting your hair also and you could lead to more hair fall or just whatever you know you need to take care of it i found like the commercially available like head and shoulders type of shampoos i don't know if they help anyone else but they never do anything for me so i've been using this sebamed one now this one is also very nice it's kind of mild 
but it's more effective than head and shoulders this is uh, for oily dandruff prone scalp so this would be really good in the summers it's a little bit expensive though but uh, it is ph balance and uh, soap and alkali free etc and it relieves dandruff irritation with pyroctone olamine i don't know what that is but this is actually quite nice however i did want to uh, get some more dandruff care products and i don't know if i will use this selsun right now because as i said it's a little bit strong but i like the idea of just you know tackling the problem even if it's strong just like like tackle the dandruff get rid of it it's not your typical shampoo and it's a concentrated um, solution that you actually have to mix with water before mixing on your scalp and then you leave that on for a couple of minutes and rinse and you use twice a week or as directed by a doctor even among the selsun like brand shampoos this is the little bit more strong one and then they do have another one uh, which is half strength and you can buy that one in case you want to use it like more regularly and you want something a little milder i went with the full strength one and i'm going to give it a try uh, maybe i'll just do once a week and hopefully this will help uh, get my scalp kind of healthy i'm really excited about this product also this is also kind of um, a hair care product that targets dandruff but compared to selsin which is more like um, an allopathic medicine and a little bit more chemically and i don't use chemical as a bad word chemical can be wonderful but it's a little bit more on that end of the spectrum i uh, decided to try out uh, this product from juicy chemistry this is the sacha inchi lemon and peppermint organic hair oil now i've basically heard a lot about this juicy chemistry from the indian blogosphere i've never tried it but it's something of a cult brand and even on my channel here jagruti who is a member has been recommending this brand to me and she swears by this brand for like most of their stuff they have hair stuff face stuff everything so i went to see like what do they have available for dandruff this is something that's more like uh, fully ayurvedic so this will also be effective it maybe won't work as swiftly as a medical grade like shampoo would but it will be less harsh also because that shampoo may take care of the scalp it may take care of the dandruff but it will actually dry out the hair you know i'm going to give this a try because i do want to do a little bit more oiling also this does have a seal on it the thing with more natural products is that they do have much shorter shelf lives because they don't have any kind of like preservatives put inside so if you're buying natural products you uh, shouldn't sort of hold them you buy what you need and work on using it up this is the bottle which is actually really small and you're supposed to massage this oil all over your scalp it's pretty expensive for just 30 ml if it works well i'm definitely willing to give it a try and the next thing i have now this i actually already opened it uh, but i thought i'll show it to you guys anyway these are some more hair care products a one repurchase and one a uh, new purchase from one of my favorite brands arata they this really cute cloth bag that they send purchases in and they even send a postcard which they with their order which looks nice this is the hair gel that i use all the time that i used last night and i talk about how i always have um, a stock of this at home like i always have 3 to 4 i just bought another one it is a continuous need and then i bought one of their hair oils which you can use to oil both the scalp and the hair uh, this is the hemp avocado oil so it's a blend of hemp and avocado which are both really uh, good oils and it stimulates hair growth and prevents breakage and i really like this little pump bottle So the oil again is a little bit expensive for a small quantity but it does have really good quality oil so that's nice. I found that a lot of the common hair oil brands that we grew up with and that we learn to blindly trust they are cheap but they don't actually have nice ingredients in them. So if they just have vegetable oil or mineral oil uh, there's no use in oiling your hair because you might be even doing more damage. And it's really important if you're oiling your scalp or hair to put a uh, good quality oils. So I know that everybody wouldn't buy something like this and you don't have to you can even just use um olive oil or coconut oil especially cold pressed coconut oil that's pretty good for scalp and hair i am looking forward to trying this and i want to try and oil my hair rather oil my scalp at least every other wash you know 
And now I'm opening up the last little box for today or rather the last big box for today. I know what this is. That was all of the beauty stuff that I bought because I'm on a low buy this year and I do not want to buy anything extra or anything unnecessary because I have a lot already. One of my favorite K-beauty brands also launched a new product and I was so tempted to purchase it, like so, so tempted. And then I realized I already have a lot. I can't justify just buying this just for the sake of it. So I resisted. So they've actually padded this box with a ton of hay. It has a fragile item inside. So it's good that they padded it. But it's been a while since I saw um, hay used as a padding. When I was young, we had like a ceramic uh, crib or an activity scene. We still put it up every Christmas, but now we put a chotu one. That time we had a much bigger, more elaborate set and we used to pack it in a box with hay only. When I just opened the box, it reminded me of Christmas time and setting up the crib. This is the actual item. I was ever so slightly worried about buying this online, but I'm glad that it looks to be in good shape. This is a ceramic planter basically. I know I'm going to a pottery class, but I still could not make a planter this size, even at the end of the class. I bought one uh, from Ugao, but this is this Indian brand Harla that makes these. They make some of the most like pretty chic planters. This is glazed ceramic and it's glazed inside also. Only the bottom is not glazed. And it does have a drainage hole also, which is so important. IKEA has planters that are really affordable, but none of them have drainage holes. So you can drill a hole in some of them, and I have. But some of them, like if they're glazed pottery, you really can't drill a hole. You'll destroy the whole thing. So this was all of the time we had for uh, sitting and unboxing today. I know the vlogs are sometimes getting shorter, but I'm also trying to vlog more frequently, so I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And please take this time to tell me about what's going on in your life. I feel like I never ask that. So I know that there are many of you guys who actually um, don't comment often and commenting is not an obligation. But the ones who comment often, I feel like I know a little bit about you all as well. Uh, so I'd love for you to tell me something about you in the comments right now. It uh, can be like um, something kind of uh, personal about yourself or you don't have to reveal any personal details just uh, tell me how your day is going when you're watching this or how your day went something you're looking forward to i would really like to know more about you uh, because uh, i don't know uh, when i make these i, I know somebody is watching them i know like somebody is liking them maybe and some people are not liking them that's fine but it really helps me to feel that human connection when i hear from you guys that's why I love the comments. I do not always reply and for that I'm really sorry. Uh, but I read each and every one and it makes uh, me feel like I'm part of something human and I'm not just some weirdo sitting and talking to a camera right now, you know? What is the time right now? I have just about 15 minutes to get ready and step out of the house. So I'm ready to go out now. The cases in Mumbai have been spiking a little bit since the last week or two weeks and each and every day the numbers are rising at an alarming rate. So I think that's something worth addressing. Obviously even I'm going out, can't really let our guard down. I know everyone is tired. It's been almost a year but just be careful you guys and uh, be strict with your masks and if you're meeting up with people and socializing. Try to do it in outdoor settings and avoid going to like house parties and stuff where everybody's not wearing a mask. We are not over the hill right now, so we all need to take a little bit more care.
So I'm back home. One of the things we need to carry for pottery class is an apron. All of these days until now, and I think we finished like half the classes. I've been thinking, we don't really need an apron. Like, why do we need an apron? I don't make any kind of mess. And today we started on the potter's wheel. And the apron, let me tell you, it was not adequate at all. I have clay all over me because you have to make the clay really like slippery and sloppy. <laughs> and then when you're spinning the wheel really fast, it is just like, you know, all projecting from all sides. But it was really a lot of fun. I knew it wouldn't be easy. People assume the wheel is easy. I knew it wouldn't be. It still surprised me with how tough it was. Our um, teacher was telling us about how like she has uh, an actual degree in pottery, a three year degree. And it took her like six months to learn basics. So there's no way going for this little class, we're really going to learn too much. But she was able to teach us and we were able to kind of understand what we were doing. And we have formed some bowls with her help but it is our doing also like when i saw the formed bowl on the the wheel the bat thingy it's called a bat i wanted to scream like with excitement because i didn't think i would be able to do that and i did so that was a great success i am so excited with classes so far they are keeping me on my toes on the way back i stopped just a little away from home so that I could get some snacks from a local vendor. Hot, hot snacks. So there are some fresh samosas, fresh bhajiyas. Since it's our last class for the week, I had to bring home my water, which is mixed with my clay. So firstly, I'm roaming around on the road with shorts, which doesn't like really happen in my area. It is more of a commercial area, so people are dressed formally. And I got a lot of gawking because I'm wearing shorts. And then secondly, because I'm holding this big dabba full of like clay water. It wasn't lecherous, but it was mostly just them being really shocked. <laughs> so that was um, a funny experience. Like they don't, nobody does anything most of the time. It's just a lot of staring. You wear anything even a little different. You wear or rain boots, you wear a hat. You just get so much of staring. <laughs> but now I am properly hungry after class really worked all of our arm muscles and our shoulders and our back so i'm gonna dig into this also change out of these clothes and whatnot i made a small portion of aloo bindi and we are also going to be trying this which i showed you guys in a recent vlog this is the first time trying the gits pow bhaji so hopefully it's going to be good we also bought some pow and mummy is toasting it with a little butter <laughs> 